Did Spotify save or ruin the music industry? When Daniel Ek founded Spotify in 2006, there were three ways to listen to music. You would pay 99 cents for a song on iTunes, you would pay $15 to purchase a CD, or you would illegally download songs on LimeWire for free. It doesn't take a genius to realize that illegal downloads were becoming incredibly popular. The music industry started losing billions of dollars each year. Daniel Ek realized there was room for innovation in the industry and founded Spotify. But this is where it gets interesting. Spotify negotiated a massive deal with the biggest record labels, giving them an 18% stake in the company. On top of the ownership stake, the record labels were getting a massive kickback in the form of royalty deals. 67% of revenue from the music go right back to the music right holders. You might be thinking, 67% of revenue? Wow, not so fast. These royalties are divided up between the artists, record labels, music publishers, and songwriters. In total, the labels get 50% while everyone else gets 17% of that share. This is great for the record labels, but is actually horrible for the artists and songwriters. 